She was just talking about us to her. But he says, you don't do anything, I can't do anything for you. So she did in behind the screen. She took off all her clothes. And she put her head out to be in the curtain. And she said, doctor. She's wearing a put me clothes and I've tucked them all off now. The doctor says, put them on top of mine in the corner. Be man, Stephen, as you know, you that. That's the queer way to have them, I'll tell you. You know, my friend, my friend, my, my wee friend Maggie, she's got two children. Yes, she has one of each. Yes, a Catholic and a Protestant. <laughs> and the two of them, honestly, you know, she called them, yes, Kylie and Jason. Yes, they're named after two neighbours. And, <laughs> and I thought at Christmas, I said, you know, I, said, I want to buy them something useful. I said, what will I get them? So one of our other wee friends, she says, you know, she says, shoes now are very expensive. Get them some shoes. And I said, that's a good idea. I said, because they're growing up and they can only accept the shoes fit them no time. I said, so I said, where would be a good place at the minute to get cheap shoes? She says, a bouncy castle. <laughs> Weekend, this fellow walking down the main street and he forgot to pull the fly to the zip on his trousers up. He met Maggie coming up the street and Maggie, she was trying to point it out to him and he was having none of it. Maggie thought, how am I going to let him know? Maggie, excuse me, sir, she says, you realise the garage door is open? <laughs> oh, he says, madam, I didn't. He says, I hope you had a peep inside and said, the rain's over. <laughs> she says, no, I've seen the money with two flat tires. <laughs> <laughs> but, you'll never last. Honestly, it was, it's quite sweet for her to put her hand on your leg. Would you look at that too, love? Are you married? Are you just practicing? Have you, have you been together long? 50 years, God, I love her too. Look at that. If you had killed her on the honeymoon night, you'd have been out now and had a job in Stormont even when you look at that. Give the two round of applause. 50 years, married. And we're still in love. Ah, still in love. We friend of mine, you know, they've been married for 35 years. And he come home one night and there she was standing with a wee see through negligence on her at the door, you know, one of them wee black numbers, you know. He knew the see through, you could see her vest underneath it. She says, Darling, take me upstairs, tie me to the bed, and do whatever you want. He took her upstairs, he tied her to the bed, and he went off to the vintage club. Anyway, now, oh, I didn't think about it. Right, we're, we're going to call the, the workers now up. Come on, please, don't be afraid. Come up to your Auntie Peggy. And, and look at this haircut.